Today, MTD CNC have travelled to the southwest. We're in Plymouth. I'm outside Morris Engineering. Recently, this business acquired two brand new Belia turning centres, one of which has three turrets, three Y axis, and two spindles. A real production workhorse. Let's go inside and meet with Tony Dyer, who's going to tell us about this recent purchase. <laughs> Tony, our viewers are going to be fascinated by this video. You've got a new Belia B465 machine here. Just tell us a little bit about what the machine is and its capabilities. Well, it's a full sort of turning milling uh, machine. Um, it's one hit machining, so sort of bar feed one end, uh, finished component from the other end. Uh, it's a twin spindle, triple turret, uh, and each one of the turrets is uh, full Y axis and milling capability. Th this is the fascinating thing for me. You've got three turrets on this machine. We look at a lot of machines where there's just twin turrets and maybe one Y-axis, but this has got three turrets and it's got three Y-axis. That gives you a massive capability, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, being in subcontracts, uh, a lot of our parts are complicated. Um, it just gives us that extra capability to be able to sort of drill, turn, mill. Um, we can sort of balance turn, balance mill at the same time, so three tools in cut at any one time. And, and do you use all three Y-axis? Uh, not on every job but we have done, and yes, we do. Yeah. And what would, it, what would it save you as a business? Let, let, let's look at this part. I mean, this is an example, isn't it? Yes. You were doing this before. How were you doing it, and how much faster is it now on this machine? Well, this job was made on a, a two-axis lathe, and then went over onto our milling section. Uh, we now do it in one hit. Uh, it was 22 minutes, so now three and a half minutes. And how did you go about programming in that on this machine? Is it easy to program? You've got a lot of turrets in here, you've got yeah. two spindles, you've got driven tools, you've got three Y-axis. How do you go about putting all that together to make the part? Well, you look at it being three turrets, you look at it as three programs, uh, and then there's a case of knitting it all together. We use EdgeCam uh, as our sort of cam software, uh, and sort of that does most of the work for us. So is most of the programming for parts like these and others done offline with, with EdgeCam in, in your, your cam room, call it? program comes out here and then the machine runs? It is, yeah. We do it offline uh, and then we knit it together, prove it out here, away we go. What about things like collisions and stuff like that? You've got a lot, lot of stuff moving around in there. How, how do you get around that one? Again, a bit of edge cam, uh, but also sort of uh, it comes down to the setters, really. Yeah. An important job. Oh, yeah. I want to know about Belia. Tell me about Belia. You, you've got a lot of machine. You, I mean, you've got a great company here, Tony. You've got a lot of capacity. You must be one of the biggest engineering companies in, in Plymouth. But you selected Belia here, I want to know why. Uh, we did our research, looked at all the, all the manufacturers, the competition. Uh, we went to Italy, looked at the factory, we were impressed with the factory. Uh, the, the, the guys sold the machine to us, the capabilities of the machine, uh, which all were impressed. Yeah. Machining tolerances, great getting parts off a machine quickly. Yeah. But how accurately can you make them on this machine? What are you working to? Uh, we're, we're sort of around sort of 6-10 microns on most aerospace parts. And that is your major industry, is it? Uh, aerospace, yeah. yeah. And then the size of this machine, Tony, because you, we'll look at the second machine you've got from Belia in a minute, because you bought two, which again is a further endorsement yeah. of the first one. We'll look at the second one, but the size of this machine, this is for your slightly larger part. Yeah, yeah we've got to sort of 70 mil bar on here, so we bar feed 70 mil. Um, that's probably large for us on the, on the turning part of our work. We go down to sort of 40 mil on this machine. Um, we then bought the second machine, the smaller machine, for a sub 40 mil diameter. And, and also, often people say to us, there's a difference between a sub spindle and a twin spindle. When you've got a machine like this, where you, again, I say you've got a lot of turrets and a lot of move, moving parts in here, is yeah. there any restriction with that sub spindle, or can you do everything on the, the back spindle that you can do on the front? Yeah, we treat them as two spindles, two identical spindles. Now, we all know White House Machine Tools are the supplier of these machines That's in right. the UK. Yeah. How, how's, your, how's your journey been with them? Because I know you've got Brother Machines and the other Belia. All gone well? Yeah, very good. We, we, we started working with White House about 15 years ago, uh, for, bought our first Brother. Um, so impressed with that. We, we, we sort of bought three or four more Brother Machines. And it just led on to what else they could offer us. They introduced us to Belia. Same service, same backup. It's great. And how many hours in a day is this machine running at the moment or in a week? Uh, 16 hours a day, this machine's running. And would you say that this is an example as a part here as a cycle time saving? It's pretty run of the mill. This is what you're getting from this machine on most of your parts. And if so, how big is that for your company? Oh, it's fantastic for the company. Um, you know, we are saving or seeing savings of around sort of 50, 60 percent on, on most of our jobs. Wow. OK, let's have a look at machine number two.
Machine number two, Tony, this is a slightly smaller version. What, what, what's this one? This is the uh, B436, uh, twin spindle, twin turret. Um, a lot more compact machine, much faster, 7,000 RPM. Um, we use it to produce uh, smaller parts, anything under 36 mil diameter. We saw in the last machine you were machining copper. It, how does that material cut on these? And then, and then, is there anything you're afraid of cutting on these machines? Uh, copper can be difficult, it's a sticky material, but no, we're a subcontractor. We cut aluminium, stainless, ink canals, um, a lot of the exotics, it's no problem, it's fine. Because do the machines have high pressure coolant, like for example with that copper, does it help if you've got high pressure coolant to, to create chip flow? Yeah, uh, high pressure 20 bar coolant uh, on all the turrets. You mentioned 7,000 RPM on the spindles on this machine, yeah. is that on both? That's correct, yes, on both spindles, yeah. So this is a real production tool for you then, is it? This is about speed, smaller parts, getting them off quickly? Yeah, a compact machine, uh, but getting parts through as, as fast as possible, yeah. Interestingly, you had three turrets on the last machine, now you've got two. Yeah. What, 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 where's the story here? It's just, uh, do we need three turrets on both machines? Probably not. Uh, we feel this is just, it's, it's fast enough, it's uh, compact enough for what we want. Before you had these two machines, how were you, did, did they replace three machines or four machines? What was the purpose of the purchase of these two? We had a uh, two axis lathe, uh, which was sort of uh, getting old, so that, that went. We also had a, a twin turret machine. Um, which uh, again was, was getting old, but we just didn't feel it was fast enough. So we, we had to um, increase our cap capability. And I suppose the fact that you've got this smaller Belia machine and then a the slightly bigger one, I mean, that does broaden your horizons to go from very small bar up to your three inch capacity. Yeah, that's correct. Again, being subcontractors, um, you know, we do a lot of small parts, a lot of mid, mid sized parts. We wanted uh, to be able to machine uh, both uh, ranges, basically, so we bought two machines. You mentioned to me about earlier about the, the sub-spindle moving or something. What, what was that? Yeah, the sub-spindle can drop off centre line. Uh, that allows you to machine longer parts uh, without sort of collision or interfering with the other turret. But also you can put in a tailstock, so a long spindle you can machine in there. So for longer parts, you can support them at the same time. Your turrets on these machines, are these double point indexing as well, so you can, you can get not just 12, 24, but you can actually get 48 tools on here. Driven tools. Yeah, yes you can. Yeah. And was power a feature too here for this machine? You mentioned speed, 7,000 RPM on the main and sub spindle, but what about the power and the speed on the, on the driven tools? When we were looking at going to a turn mill machine, we wanted to make sure that we could mill like a milling machine. So we checked out all the power, the size of the, 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 the tangs and things on the milling head, and yes, they are like milling machines, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question here which we haven't rehearsed for, but have either of these machines ever broken down? Uh, not, not at all, no, no, not at all.